Hi, this is for people following my code lesson course who are using uh, Ubuntu Linux or possibly any other type of Linux and who want to know how to set up a very basic editor, write a Ruby script into it and then run that Ruby uh, using uh, Ruby 192 that's already been installed as shown in previous video. So here we go, basic, very default Ubuntu setup and we're just literally going to use the text editor that's under the accessories menu. This is called gedit if you want to install it separately in your own uh, distribution of Linux. Once we're in here we just need to make a few changes. In the view menu there's a side pane option. This uh, gives you a file browser view, or it does if you uh, you might need to select it at this uh, bottom tab here. Uh, select file browser. By default it's showing you, uh, well, showing my home directory. In here you want to create a folder by right clicking um, sort of in a blank area. Uh, they're choosing new folder, and I'm just going to call it Ruby. I believe you can, um, no, you perhaps you can't create it anywhere else. Um, but either way, I've created that folder now. If I go into that, you see it's empty. Now what I can do is I can right click now and I can say new file. And what I'll do is I'll call this test script.rb. Now test script.rb isn't loaded yet, as you can see it still has an untitled document here. If I double click this, that changes to that there. If I write in some very basic Ruby code here, put hello world. Then what I can do is I can click save, or I can save through the menu or use control S directly. Now I want to run this Ruby script. All I need to do here is I'm going to right click on the test script RB file in this side here and choose open terminal here. So here's our basic terminal. Now you don't need to learn too much about the command prompt to the terminal if you don't want to, but if you type ls and press enter it gives you a list of the files in the current place and we've got the test script as you can see. Now if we haven't got Ruby 192 selected or uh, have set it to do it by default in RVM, which I think you really should do, um, but if you haven't then you'll need to run RVM 192 like that. But then ideally you would just go ruby test script rb and press enter and then you can see hello world come up. Something else you can do if you're not uh, perhaps too familiar with the terminal, this is a nice little trick. Type ruby space te, you can write uh, a few letters that just start the name of the file, press tab and it will automatically complete it for you. And again, there we are. And then when you're done with this, you can just close it, you can even close this and you're good to go.